I loved it from the second I read it. First of all, I was just so happy that I survived Scream 5. The writers are incredible and it's so scary and I was so excited that Gail Weathers was back in it. She's evolved so much since the very beginning. Uh, Gail was very aggressive and only out for herself and then you see a softer side of her around Scream 3 and then um, this particular one, I think she got a little a bit of her edge back, which was nice. She is relentless. She won't stop even if she promises she will. New York is a perfect place to have this movie set. Um, Ghostface can hide amongst so many people and yet he can see you. He's always there to see you, but you don't necessarily know where he is. And especially set around this time of, you know, the Halloween time of year where people are in costumes. It's just genius. I think it's, it's added so much horror to it just by the location. These films to me are so frightening and, and gory in a good way. It's so realistic, the way they do the special effects and the stabbings, but I mean, I think that people are gonna go nuts. It's so much fun and to see this with an audience and the, the build and the excitement and the laughter. Matt and Tyler, our directors, you know, they're huge fans of Wes. I mean, I think Wes was a huge inspiration to them just in their directing career alone. They are so hip. They're so visual. They're such great people. They're so open and yet they know exactly what they want. Every time, the last time and then this time, they just keep elevating it. And, you know, you don't, they don't ride on their laurels of last time that was such a great film. They amped it up in every way. And the writers did. And it's just, um, I think they're incredible.